Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, the Baseball Replay Journal. We've got another 1908 game for you here today. It's the Cubs and the Cardinals. Cubs uh, coming into this one at 5-0. Cardinals are at 2-3, and three, so why don't you uh, take a seat and uh, join us for this one. We should have this one uh, done, I think, pretty quick, quickly for you, but, of course, we'll see what happens here. Uh, Johnny Evers is the first man up, and he rolls a 33 for a 7. He gets that base hit off of Johnny Lush right away, and that's the way that this one starts, and the uh, Cubs are going to hit and run here, and here comes Joe Tinker. Tinker rolls a 15 for an 11, and that's a base hit, and uh, sends Evers to third, and then Tinker will, of course, steal a base um, as Frank Chance is up there, and the Cubs have runners on second and third, just like that, with nobody out here in the top of the first inning. And uh, you kind of knew that they were going to come out swinging, didn't you? Next roll for a Chance is a 35 for a 22. That uh, will be changed to a 16. That winds up being a single to center. Two uh, runners score. One scores as a uh, RBI off the base hit, and the other one on a uh, wild throw from Shaw in center field. Kind of an odd play for Shaw, who has a three as his throwing rating, um, and uh, his uh, wild throw lets Chance move up to second base. Two nothing Cubs here. Top of the first inning. Here's Johnny Kling. He rolls a 51 for an 8, and that's going to be a ground ball over back to Johnny Lush, who throws to first base for the out, one away. And here's Jimmy Shepard, runner on third base, as Frank Chance moved up on that one. And uh, Shepard rolls an 11 for a 0. And uh, there is part of me that says, hey, you know, 1908, guys, you should uh, save these um, 11s and 66s for somebody else. Rolls in a 64 for a 6, and there is a very, very slim outside chance of him hitting a home run, but the roll is a 42, which is out of the range. That is a 6 for a double, and that scores the runner, and uh, Shepard ends up on second base with the double. 3 nothing Cubs here in the early going. Here's Harry Steinfeld. Steinfeld rolls a 16 for a 26 as a ground ball over to Gilbert at second base. Throws the first for the out two away, and here's Wildfire Schultz. He rolls a 13 for a 14, and that is a walk given up by Johnny Lush, and that will make the next batter Jimmy Slagle, and the Cubs are really, really batting around here. 63 is the roll for Slangle, which is a 30. That is a fly ball over to left field. Delahanty's got it. He makes the out. Three runs is all the Cubs get, but they almost bat around. They send eight bat batters up to the plate. Four hits for the Cubs, and uh, there was, of course, the air. And here's Red Murray against Orville overall. And this uh, Cubs bullpen, um, I say bullpen, I really mean starting rotation, is probably one of the best starting rotations in the history of baseball. Red Murray rolls a 14 for a 43. There's a fly ball over to left field, and Sheckard has it for the out. One away, here's Albert Shaw. He rolls a 26 for a 30. Another fly ball to Sheckard and left. That's two. And here's Ed Kenechi. We'll roll a 13 for a 14, and that's overall giving up the walk. Up next is Joe Delahanty, now runner on first base. Kanechi is slow. Roll is a 66 for a zero. Hey, boys, save that for 1930. The next roll is a 46 for a 6, and that is a double, which scores the runner despite him being slow. Joe Delahanty getting one back for the Cardinals here. It's 3-1 to one now, and here comes Billy Gilbert. That is the first hit for St. Louis in this game. Gilbert rolls at 51 for a 9, and uh, that is a strikeout by uh, overall, and uh, we'll go to the top of the second inning. And here is overall to uh, lead it off. He rolls a 14 for a 43. We will have a little E. Rolls a 36, which is out of range. That ends up being a fly ball over to Delahanty in left field. He makes the first out. Here comes Johnny Evers again, and here come those Cubs. Evers hitting 522 so far this season with a 593 on base percentage. This is 1908. Evers rolls a 46 for a 29. There's a comeback to Lush at the mound, throws the first base for the out. Two away, and here's Joe Tinker. Apologies, that's my dog who's right um, underneath me. Tinker rolls a 42 for a 23. That has changed to a 36. That'll be a ball. Tinker's still up there. Rolls this time a 55 for an 8, and that's a fly out to uh, Shaw in center field, and that is the third out. We go to the bottom of the second inning, and here's Patsy O'Rourke. Rolls a 45 for a 14, and that's another walk. Two walks given up so far by overall. Here's Bobby Byrne, who rolls a 63 for a 30. That is a fly ball over, and once again to Sheckard in left field, and that's one away. Here's Bill Ludwig. Rolls a 15 for a 10, and that's a single that sends Patsy O'Rourke to uh, third base, and Ludwig will then steal second base. And Johnny Lush is going to probably have to bunt here. I don't know. You know what? We're not going to bunt with him here. I'm just looking at these different uh, potential base hit type numbers. Um, his card is not necessarily filled with strikeouts. I know he has quite a few. We're going to have him swing away. We're going to have him swing away instead of bunting here. That's probably another controversial decision. Not much power on the card. And as you can see, much more clearly than I can because of the shadows, he rolls a 66 for a 6. That's a double to right field. That clears the bases. And uh, that means that we have a ball game, folks. 3-3, three to three, Cubs and the Cardinals. And um, 
that is a very, very big play. Uh, Johnny Lush is uh, showing me that uh, you can't uh, necessarily count the Cardinals out of this one. It's only in the um, uh, bottom of the second inning here. Now the Cardinals have tied this game 3-3. Three to three, And up next is Red Murray. And... Uh, Wow, that one changed in a hurry, didn't it? Murray rolls a 13 for a 40. What an awful rule. <laughs> um, and that's a fly ball over to uh, right field, and uh, Schultz makes the catch. And uh, Lush is actually fast, not slow. He's able to make it to third base despite the uh, S runner being thrown out of third, if that chance were up there. Two outs now. Lush is at third base near Zelda Shaw. He needs a base hit, and he instead rolls a 13 for a 14 for a walk, and that is the third walk given up by overall. Here's Ed Kanechi now. Kanechi rolls a 43 for a 29, and that is a strikeout for overall. Strikeout number two, and that does that. And we go to the top of the third inning. Now 3-3 three to three in this one. Here's Frank Chance. Rolls a 61 for a 37. This change to 39. Doesn't matter either way. It's a strike. Next roll is an 11 for a 0. And like I said, you kind of want to see these guys hold it for someone who deserves a little bit more. He rolls a 16 for a 6. And there's a very, very outside chance of having something happen. But the rolls a 31. That's out of the range. Chance winds up at second base with the double. And here comes Johnny Kling now. And this Cubs lineup is strong. Kling rolls a 15 for an 11. And there's a... Uh, uh, base hit and uh, the uh, runner chance ends up being thrown out at home and uh, I'm sorry no he scores um, and uh, Kling then is able to uh, steal second base on the next pitch so I'm guessing the chance then I must have missed this he wasn't F yeah so he is able to score on that play and uh, with that one that makes the score now four to three Cubs and I have to, of course, slow down a little bit to make sure that I um, know exactly what it is that just happened. That happens from time to time in MP3, especially if you start really getting rolling and you start going quickly. You're like, well, wait a second, what happens with the board? If you play the actual game with the cards and the boards and all this stuff, it can also be hard to remember things. I have had time in the past from time to time remembering what I just rolled. Here's Jimmy Shepard. That's what happens when you have re-rolls. He rolls a 53 for a 16. That has changed to 22. That's a bad pickoff move by Johnny Lush, and that sends Johnny Kling, Kling over to third base. Shekhar's still up there. Yeah, you know, uh, with the re-rolls, especially for the potential errors, I would have this happen all the time back when I would play cards and dice. I would forget what the original roll was and um, hope that I could remember it. Um, I need a place in the score sheet to write that down. Next roll for Shekhard is a 63 for 32, and that is a fly ball over to right field, and Murray makes the catch, and Kling is unable to score first out of the inning. Here's Harry Steinfeld. He rolls a 65 for a 35, and there's a little high pop-up, and that's going to be caught by O'Rourke for the second out, and here comes Wildfire Schultz. Two outs now here in the top of the third. <clears throat> Schultz rolls a 62 for a 12, and that is um, going to be a fly ball again over to right field. And uh, it is Murray making the catch, and that'll do it. So the Cubs only wind up with one there in the top of the third. And here comes Joe Delahanty for St. Louis. Delahanty rolls a 21 for a 30. There's a fly ball over to Shecker in left field, one away. Here's Billy Gilbert. He overall 31 for a 14, and that's a walk again by overall. He's given up four walks in this one. With that X, I was expecting us to have a, shot, a, a strikeout show. Instead, it's been the walk show. And here comes Patsy O'Rourke. He rolls a 14 for a 43, and that's a fly ball over to left field. And shecker has got it for the out. And there are two away now. And here comes Bobby Byrne. He rolled 23 for 27. That's a strikeout by overall. Strikeout number three for him. We go to the top of the fourth. Here comes Jimmy Slagle. Still 4-3 Cubs. Slagle rolls a 13 for a 14. And uh, there is a base on balls. And that will bring up the pitcher overall. And uh, you know he's going to bunt. And his roll is a 64 for a 13. That is a foul strike. And... Uh, he has another uh, chance here, and the rule is a 32 for a 26. Of course, I forgot to put the bunt on. Whoops. That's a ground ball over to uh, Gilbert at second base, flips over to O'Rourke, the shortstop for the play at second. Overall, ends up uh, replacing the, the runner on first base. Here comes Johnny Evers again. So as you can see, all of us make mistakes. Evers now <clears throat> rolls a 12 for a 24, and uh, the little E may be able to bail him out. Let's see. Now the rolls a 45. That's out of the range. That's a ground ball the other way to O'Rourke. He goes to Gilbert for one, on to first to Konechi for the double play, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning, and here comes Bill Ludwig. Ludwig rolls a 14 for a 43, another little E. And this time it's 22, which means it is going to be an air. This time it'll be an air on the uh, third baseman, uh, Steinfeld. And so Ludwig is on at first base um, with uh, nobody out here for Johnny Lush, who is going to bunt. Four to three Cubs. Roll is a 23 for 32. That's a good bunt. That is a bunt down to third base. And it's Steinfeld making the play this time over to first. 
And uh, Ludwig moves up to uh, second base with one out, and here comes Red Murray, and the Cardinals have a chance to tie this one up. And his roll, as you can see, is a 22 for a 7. That's going to be a base hit. That's a single to right field. Murray um, sends the runner home, and uh, Ludwig scores, and the score now is 4-4. Four to four. And uh, hold everything. Boy, this game is uh, pretty exciting. We've had a couple of exciting games as of late, haven't we? Um <clears throat> Yeah, it was funny. When I uh, decided to do this project and decided to film these games, one of the fears that I had was that we were going to get a whole bunch of games that were you know, not really that interesting and nothing was going to happen. We haven't had anything like that. We've had all sorts of things going on. Here comes Albert Shaw, and I'm going to hit and run here for with the uh, Cardinals and see if they can make something happen. The roll is a 31 for a 9, and unfortunately against the B, that's not going to do much. That's going to be a ground out over to uh, Tinker, makes the play at first base. That does move Red Murray up, and now with two outs, we have Ed Kenechi up there. Still 4-4, four to four, tie ball game. Uh, the roll here is a 55 for an 8, and against the B, that's a little comebacker over to overall. Throws the first base for the out, and that does it. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Joe Tinker hitting 478 on the season, a little 478. He rolls a 16 for a 28. It's a ground ball over to O'Rourke. Makes the play at first. One away. There's Frank Chance. And he rolls a 26 for a 27. That time the ground ball goes over to third base to Bobby Byrne, who throws to first for the out. Two away. Johnny Clean now. He'll roll a 33 for a zero. And we go double column fishing once again. And the next roll is a 42 for a six. There's an outside chance for a home run because of the L that Johnny Lush has. But the roll is a 42. It's out of the range. Clean gets the double. And uh, now we have Jimmy Sheckard up there. Seven hits now for the Cubs in this one. Two outs. Runner on second base. The roll for um, Sheckard is a 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball again to burn at third base. Makes the play over to the first base for the out. And that does it. We go to the bottom of the fifth now. Here's Joel Dillahanty. His roll is a 64 for a 13. There's another strikeout for overall. That is strikeout number four. Four strikeouts and four walks in this one for um, Orville. And uh, up next is Billy Gilbert. Rolls a 43 for a 29. That's another strikeout because of that X. There's strikeout number five. And here comes Patsy O'Rourke. He rolls a 16 for a 26. That's going to be a ground ball over to Evers. And uh, Johnny throws over to third, first base for the out. And that does it. And uh, we go to the top of the six. Here's Harry Steinfeld. Rolls a 24 for a 13, and there's the first strikeout of the game for Johnny Lush. Here's Weifauer Schultz. He'll throw a 26 for a 32. That's a fly ball over to Murray in right field. Makes the play, and here comes Jimmy Slagle. And he rolls a 66, and again, you think, come on, guys, let's not use up too many of those. And the um, second roll on, uh, roll on second columns is uh, 23 for a 7, and that's just a single. Much ado about nothing, I would say. And here comes overall now with the runner on first base. I'll roll a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to center field, and Shaw takes it for the out. We go to the bottom of the six. Here's Bobby Byrne. He rolls a 14 for a 43. That's a fly ball over to Jimmy Shecker in left field, one away. Here's Bill Lubig. I'll roll a 61 for a 32, and that's a fly ball over to Schultz in right field, two away. And here comes Johnny Lush, the pitcher. Of course, we leave him in. It's 1908. He rolls a 56 for a 34. There's a little E because we don't have a Y in play. And the roll is a 16, and that means it's, it's going to be an error, and this time the error is going to be on Chance, the first baseman. So ground ball over to Chance, who uh, fluffs it, and um, that is um, an error, second error of the ball game for the Cubs. And here's Red Murray with a runner on first base, but with two outs, and he rolls a 31 for a 9. That single beats out an infield hit, sends Lush over to second base. Cardinals with something cooking now, and here comes Albert Shaw, and overall could really use a strikeout here. His roll is a 32 for a 26. That's just a little quiet infield pop-up over to uh, Evers, who makes the play and uh, ends up coming straight over to the batter's box for his at-bat. Johnny Evers up there now, top of the seventh inning, 4-4 ball game. He rolls a 34 for a 44, and we do have a little E to worry about, but the roll is a 42, nothing doing. That's a fly ball to center field. Shaw makes, it for the, uh, makes the catch for the out one away. Here's Joe Tinker. Tinker roll is a 61 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base, and it's Bobby Byrne making it over to first base for the out. Two away. Here's Frank Chance. Chance rolls a 44 for an 8. That is a base hit, and then he is caught stealing, unfortunately, for Frank, um, while the next batter, uh, uh, Kling, is up there. Go to the bottom of the seventh inning now. Here's Ed Kenechi. He rolls a 55 for an 8, and that's going to be a ground ball over to Tinker. Makes the play at first base for the out. One down. Here's Joe Dillahanty. We have to roll again. That one was caught in between the white die, that is. The roll is a 62 for a 12, and we have a little E roll. And that's a 64, and that's going to be out of the range. That ends up being a little ground ball over to uh, Chance, who does it himself at the uh, bag. Two away now. Here's Billy Gilbert. 
Gilbert now rolls a uh, 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to uh, Evers at second base, who makes the play over to first base for the out. Top of the eighth inning. This is an exciting one. Here's Johnny Kling again. He rolls a 54 for a 45. That's a fly ball over to Murray in right field for the first out. And here's Jimmy Shepard. He rolls a 53 for a 16. That will change to a 22 automatically. That ends up being an error on Johnny Lush. And uh, so with a runner on first base and Steinfeld up there with only one out, we're going to have Steinfeld uh, bunt. And the roll is a 64 for a 13, which is not what you want to see. This time I will remember to put the bunt on again. Now we have a 65 for a 35. And um, let's see what happened here. That ends up being a bunt over to uh, the catcher, um, Ludwig, who makes the play over at second base. He throws over to O'Rourke to get the lead runner. And then um, as uh, Steinfeld is fast, he is able to get down the line, beat out the double play. And uh, now there are two outs with the runner on first base for the Cubs. Top of the eighth inning, still 4-4. Four to four. And the roll for Schultz is a 15 for an 11. That sends Seinfeld over to uh, Steinfeld, rather, over to third base, and Schultz is able to steal second. Runners on uh, second and third now with Jimmy Slagle coming up there, and let's see if the Cubs can knock the run in. And he rolls a 44 for an 8, and that's going to be a single to uh, first base, scores two runners, and then uh, Slagle is thrown out, um, unfortunately for him, trying to uh, steal um, on the play right afterwards. Um, And uh, so... With that, here in the top of the eighth inning, uh, the Cubs have um, established a two-run lead at 6-4 to four now Chicago, um, although they uh, did sort of run themselves out of that rally. And these this Cubs team is stealing a lot of bases and is being caught and stolen a lot as well. Here's Patsy O'Rourke now, bottom of the eighth inning. Patsy rolls a 55 for an 8, and that's a ground ball over again to Tinker, who uh, makes the throw to first base one away. Here's Bobby Byrne. And Bobby rolls a 22 for an 8, and that's another fly, uh, ground ball, rather, over to Tinker. Makes the play at first base, two away. Here's Bill Ludwig. He rolls a 15 for a 10, and that's a single over to center field. And now we have decision time, which is, do you leave Lush in or take him out? I think we take him out in this situation, um, but uh, watch, we'll have nobody on the bench. In fact, I remember this team. We were playing with this team just the other day, weren't we? And there was, like, no pinch hitters available. We might as well leave the pitcher in, huh? Shad Barry's going to be our pinch hitter. I think that I used him uh, the other day when we played with the Cardinals. I think it was against the Cubs, too. And uh, let's see what happens. He rolls a 44 for an 8, and those 8s don't do you much good. That's a ground ball over to Steinfeld, and he grabs it and throws over to first base for the out. That does it. And now we need a relief pitcher for the uh, Cardinals. And, of course, this isn't going to tell me who I've used and who I haven't used so far, which is kind of the thing I need to know because I don't, I'm not going to remember who I've used and who I haven't used. Um, we're going to go, I think, with uh, Stoney McGlynn. All right, Stoney McGlynn's going to come in there and pitch, and his uh, he's going to face Orville overall first. And uh, the roll is 53 for a 21. And uh, that is an error on the first baseman, uh, Kanechi. And uh, that's the fourth error given up by the Cardinals so far in this one. Here's Johnny Evers with the uh, slow pitcher on a first base. Evers rolls a 53 for an 18. All the error numbers are coming out. And that's a uh, ground ball over to Rourke who bo boots that one. And that actually sends overall all the way over to third base. And here comes uh, Joe Tinker. And this game is going to get out of hand in a hurry unless St. Louis can do something. <laughs> Two straight errors, five errors in the game for the Cardinals. Um, Tinker rolls a 63 for a 31. That's a fly ball over to center field. Shaw has it, and um, he unfortunately he's not able to throw the slow overall out of the plate, and uh, that is uh, run number seven for the Cubs. And here comes Frank Chance with a runner on first base. And I think we'll do a little bit of hitting and running just for old time's sake. And, of course, he rolls a 34 for a 44. That is a single and sends Evers over to third base. And here comes Johnny Kling. And uh, the question is, do you hit and run again? If we want to really rub it in, might as well rub it in. Let's uh, make sure that uh, make sure that this game is uh, dead and buried, huh? Johnny Kling up there will hit and run. He rolls a 35 for a 9. It's a single um, to right field, and one runner scores. And uh, No, I'm sorry. That is uh, because we have a C on the mound. That is a ground ball, rather, over to uh, second base to Gilbert, who throws over to first for the out. One runner scores. Chance moves up to second base on the hit and run. 8-4 to four now is the uh, score. Here comes Jimmy Sheckard now with two outs here in the top of the ninth inning. And Shecker uh, rolls a 52 for a 27. That is a ground ball over to Burn. Makes a play at first base for the out. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Cubs with the 8-4 to four lead. And here's Red Murray. Murray rolls a 66. I told you guys to save him. 
66 for a zero, and the next roll is a 25 for a two. That is a triple for um, Red Murray, and uh, that puts him at third base. But, of course, he is one man can only score one run. St. Louis needs four. Here's Albert Shaw. And uh, Shaw, of course, is going to swing away in this situation. Rolls a 41 for a 28. And uh, the infield is playing deep, of course. That's a ground ball over to Tinker. Makes the play at first base. They let the run score. 8-5 to five, Chicago now. And here's Ed Kanechi with one out. He rolls a 14 for a 43. We do have a little E-roll. We've had a heck of a game. The roll is a 61. So that ends up being the 43 instead, which is a fly ball to Sheckard in left field for the out. That's two away. Here's Joe Delahanty. Delahanty up there rolls a 23 for 32, and that's going to be a little fly ball over to Schultz in right field for the out, and that does it. And the Cubs will advance to 6 and 0. Cardinals uh, drop down to 2 and 4. And uh, the 1908 Cubs not only have a great pitching staff, but they have, um, I would say, some pretty good hitters. What do you think? Hope you enjoy that one. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.